The end of days has come. In the wake of Ragnarok, the nine worlds have been shattered, and the fabric of time has sundered itself. Yet humanity has managed to survive the fall of the gods. A small tribe of Vikings, led by the chieftain Suna, have managed to reach a safe ground known as the Holt. From here, they will launch a quest to restore the great tree Yggdrasil and climb to Asgard, the realm of the Aesir. There is one complication. The fall of the gods has bent time into a loop. This means that Suna's people have no fear for death, but they also have no way out without divine assistance. Reaching Asgard will mean currying favor with the last of the Aesir and whatever sacred beings are left to guide them. Now this rough and tumble setting might sound like it would lend itself to an action title, but Roots of Yggdrasil is a no violence type of game. It features an eclectic mix of elements from city builders, deck builders, strategy, and puzzle games. The objective is to move between floating islands, harvesting the seeds of Yggdrasil to power your ship. Time is pressing as a destructive black fog is climbing the great tree right behind you. Upon reaching an island, the player begins building a settlement using a hand of cards. These buildings both consume and generate different resources that can be used to continue exploring and expanding across the island. Positioning counts as well, as most buildings need to be placed close to another building or feature. Growing the overall population lets the player draft additional cards, which can be used for the duration of the run. The objective on each island is to activate enough Yggdrasil saplings to power the ship to the next island. Each sapling has different requirements, including constructing certain types of buildings nearby, expending certain resources, or completing an objective somewhere else on the map. And the player needs to do this quickly. Finishing early means more time to explore smaller pockets of land for bonuses, while taking too long means death. But death is not the end in Roots of Yggdrasil. Completing a run, whether by reaching a certain point or falling to the Black Fog, means earning resources that can be used to expand and upgrade the Holt, granting bonuses on future runs. The mechanics are fairly straightforward, but there is a bit of a learning curve due to the novelty. It'll probably also take a run or two to get a handle on how to plan for each island, which is definitely the hardest part of the experience. With limited resources, time, and space, it's easy to cut yourself off from certain saplings. Roots of Yggdrasil also has a bit more story than you'd expect from a deck builder. Each successful loop reveals a story beat, and there are also several minor divinities to interact with, and plenty of interpersonal moments with the central cast. While that's hardly the focus of the game, it does give it a little bit more depth. Ultimately, Roots of Yggdrasil is an interesting spin on two fast-growing genres. It's definitely worth a look if you are a fan of either city builders or deck builders and want to try something a little bit different.